Good day everyone, let's work out the circle theorems question. We have a diagram with information on it. QRS is a straight line. Angle PVR is 75 degrees as shown. And angle TRS is 60 degrees as shown. We are asked to determine the value of angle PTR. So we are using our theorem. Circle theorem angles in the same segment of a circle and subtended by the same arc are equal. That means that this angle is equal to this angle. So angle PVR and angle PTR are the same. This would be 75 degrees. And both of these angles are equal. So the answer is 75 degrees. Let's look at angle TPQ. So we're using another circle theorem. The exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. So the cyclic quadrilateral, I will outline it in blue. P, T, R, Q, P. This is a cyclic quadrilateral since all four vertices touch the circumference of the circle. And we have the exterior angle of 60 degrees. And according to this theorem, the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. The interior opposite angle is here, where TPQ is, and that would be 60 degrees. So the answer is 60 degrees. TPQ. Let's look at part 3. Obtuse angle POR, where O is the center of the circle. So let's choose a center of the circle. I'll label it O. And now let's draw lines to connect P to O. And we'll go to R. So we can see what we are asked to find. Obtuse angle POR. So this is the angle we are asked to find. It is more than 90 but less than 180, an obtuse angle. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a theorem to work out angle Q. We are going to use a circle theorem. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. This is one theorem that we will use. What does that mean? The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. This is our cyclic quadrilateral PTRQ. And both of these angles must add up to 180 degrees. So in order to find angle Q, we just say 180 subtract 75 and we get 105 degrees. So Q is 105 degrees. Let's look at this angle outside and now we are going to use another theorem to figure out that angle. Okay, let's make some more space. The 
angle which an arc of a circle subtends at the center of a circle is twice the angle it subtends at any point on the remaining part of the circumference. So that long theorem just means that the angle on the outside is twice 105 degrees. So 105 times 2 will give you 210 degrees. And that's the value on the outside, 210 degrees. Okay, so this angle, this reflex angle, more than 180 but less than 360, a reflex angle, is 210 degrees. But the question does not ask for a reflex angle. The question asks for an obtuse angle. So to find the, the wanted angle, what we do is subtract 300, and, sorry, we subtract 210 from 360 and we get 150 degrees. 150 degrees. And if we add 150 to 210, we get 360 degrees, which is the amount of degrees in a full turn. Okay, so we needed to use several theorems to work out part 3. Thanks for watching. These are our answers. So our final answer, 150 degrees for P-O-R, the obtuse angle, P-O-R. Have a good day and good luck in your studies.